Here I am at the Mecca of America, Golden Crab. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. And before we start, can we get a good old hail rat or maybe a hail yeah for good food? Comment down below. Come on guys, good food, let's hear it. So at that, here we are back at Golden Corral. Those who've been following me for a little while, you know I like my Golden Corral. And Golden Corral has usually done me very, very well. So today we're at a Golden Corral in California. So what I wanted to highlight, and I started off with first, is this is the first time that I've actually seen a taco station at a Golden Corral. So I have been to Golden Corrals in three or four different states, and believe it or not, this is the only one that I've noticed a taco station at. So I think it's maybe has to do, because it is further south, that southern influence, that Mexican influence, just as at this Golden Corral, you could also get horchata, you could get jameca, um, both kind of, you know, more Mexican style drinks, which again, I have never seen these anywhere else at the Golden Corral. So I thought that was really, really interesting. And it very much inspired me to inquire to whether Golden Corral in other regions or other parts of the countries has like its own unique items. If you have any other answers or any other examples of this, let me know down below because I'm very curious to be honest. Um, so yeah, who would have known Golden Corral in California? had a taco station and you know again all these more i'll call them more mexican inspired or mexican beverages so super super cool so now i'll get talking a little bit more about the food so my first plate was basically just tacos um they had like a ground beef or they had like a kind of fajita steak is what i call it um pico de gallo you know just some pretty standard stuff um i will say didn't overly you know seem very authentic mexican but not that i would expect that anyway on the second plate, went with some good old broccoli and lots of pulled pork. I'm um, so interesting about this pulled pork. Every time it, uh, I've had pulled pork before at a Golden Corral, it's always been like a smoked pulled pork, and this was not. It was very interesting. It was just like a, I don't know, like a more like roasted, roasted, you know, whatever pulled pork. Um, however, it was still good. They still like the barbecue sauce, so I usually like the pulled pork. Um, this one, again, was not smoked, but I still threw some barbecue sauce on it, and I had my way with it. Um, also, basically what they were doing for the little sauces, as you can see on the left there, they were giving them out little containers. Um, so the Golden Corral, as you saw at the beginning, was all set up to, like, them serve you. So normally you would self-serve yourself at the buffet, but the way Golden Corral is operating during this pandemic is they serve you. So you kind of have to, like, you ask an employee for a plate, they give you the plate, and then you basically tell them what you want and how much of it. So, for example, here I would have been like, hey, I want some um, carrot salad or carrot slaw, whatever it's called. And she would give me a scoop and I'd be like, more or less or, you know, that's good. Um, you do that pretty much for the item. Same, you know, you want a piece of fried chicken. You'd say, hey, like... I want a, that piece of fried chicken, I'll take another one please, etc. So it does kind of slow the process down, but I am thankful that they are open and they are operating it. Um, it does put more work on the staff, so again, extra special thank you to the staff and uh, you know, let them know when you go that they're appreciated. Uh, because I mean, they're working and their jobs are, let's be honest, a lot harder or a lot more time consuming. Now they're not just stocking the uh, line, the buffet line, but now they are also doing the cooking. Well, I mean, they're always doing the cooking but they were now also serving you. So it definitely adds a bit of time, takes them away from doing their thing. On that plate there, I had um, just kind of some salad, some French dressing, I had some coleslaw, and I had some carrot salad or carrot slaw. Um, the carrot salad or carrot slaw was very, very interesting, uh, very heavily dressed, and it had uh, pineapple and raisins in it. So I've never had like a carrot slaw, carrot salad like that before. So that was kind of interesting, but hey, it wasn't bad. Um, got some uh, good old fried chicken. I like the Golden Crow fried chicken. It's uh, it's pretty solid, to be honest. Um, and then here we had some of their pot roast, which is always delicious. Um, but it had some carrots, which are always delicious because they're soaked in butter as well. And then I tried some sweet potato casserole which I will tell you a little bit about when we get to it. Um, so again, standard broccoli. Um, a common question is people like have asked me, they're like, why do you eat vegetables when you go to Golden Corral? Well, one, to keep the calories down. Two, they're filling. And veggies are actually expensive. Like I've said this to people in comments. I'm like, I don't know why you think veggies aren't expensive. Ve like vegetables are very expensive. Um, so if, you know, if I'm going to go eat a whack of like broccoli or fresh you know like a couple plates of green bell peppers like i normally do 
bell peppers can cost like a couple bucks each sometimes. Um, of course, so basically I eat meats and or uh, vegetables, which are, well, and then desserts. But I won't talk about that yet. But those are like the most expensive items. You don't see me filling up on a lot of the cheaper items, which would be like pastas and or breads and or etc. So fried chicken, love the fried chicken. Um, it was pretty good today. It, it comes out in waves, you know what I mean? So like if you get it when it's hotter, yes, it's better than if it's been sitting out for a little bit. Um, to which when we first arrived, it was like a little slower because you're there maybe like let's say four o'clock. Uh, but then as we continued to be there, things started to speed up and items came out fresher because there was more people eating, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, like I said, carrots were good, uh, chicken was good. Um, onto the sweet potato casserole. This thing was amazing. So I've never, I don't know if I just didn't see it there before or again, maybe this is just another California exclusive. Um, but it was like sweet potatoes, which were candied. So there's like sugar in the sweet potatoes, there was cinnamon. There was um, marshmallows on top. Honestly, it was absolutely delicious. It was like almost to the point where it was like a dessert. It was super sweet, super rich, super delicious. I can definitely sure they put lots of butter in that as well, um, but absolutely delicious. So very much enjoyed that sweet potato casserole. Uh, again, an item that I never saw at Golden Corral before, or at least if I did, I never picked up on it. Here I had some steak. Um, there were doing of course the steaks on the grill which they do at dinner time and then that piece which I had was a kind of separate section to which it was like the steak but they specifically put it aside and doused it in garlic butter so of course it was delicious because everything soaked in butter is delicious um, had some green beans green beans were fine and standard uh, I mean some of the vegetables at Golden Corral I find are extra al dente um, like their broccoli and cauliflower is like never overcooked. Their steamed broccoli over or cauliflower, in my opinion. In fact, there's sometimes where I'm like, this almost seems a little undercooked with the cauliflower. Then you have certain items like the beans, um, sometimes the carrots, like the items that are really sitting in a liquid where I guess probably partially maybe continues to cook or for whatever circumstance, um, just being soaked in water. I find sometimes those are like, they can get a little overcooked. Uh, but nonetheless, I mean, you know, they have the standards of green beans, the collard greens, um, which I mean, they all taste good. Some are more flavored than others. Some even have pork in them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I did have a little steak. This is probably only the second time I've ever had a steak at the Golden Corral. Um, I mean, it's like not bad. It's like a, probably like a sirloin steak. Um, it's, it's fine. Like it's a fine piece of meat. It's nothing to write home about. But, you know, it is kind of nice that you can have all-you-can-eat steak, and the steaks are essentially being made to order on the grill. So you walk up to the gentleman at the grill, and you say, Hello, I would like a rare steak, or I'd like a medium rare steak, or I'd like well done. And he has them kind of all set out in front of him on the grill, and he'll just give you a piece and give you uh, the appropriate doneness that you want cooked. So, again, it actually is a super cool... Um, we'll say system and or item to have at a buffet is again having fresh cooked steaks at a buffet I think is not very common at least in my experience um, but I just just an item that I don't always take advantage of but this time I did and I enjoyed it and especially enjoyed that one that I mentioned with the uh, with garlic butter all over it so we're back having some more um, broccoli uh, I got some more pulled pork there um, and then with the barbecue sauce on it some more other meats, some more sweet potato casseroles, etc. Um, Blaine, as you can see there, he started on the pineapple, which was very, very good. I love pineapple. Um, again, another item which I eat here because, again, fruit can be generally pretty expensive, just as vegetables can be pretty expensive. Blaine also uh, found the sweet potato casserole, and he loved it as well. Um, something he definitely went hard on. I definitely dove into a little bit, um, and we very, very much enjoyed it. Blaine, if you're not familiar with him, he's my good friend who lives in California, so I was down there, and uh, this was his, I think it was his actual first time at Golden Corral, um, and I was like, what? Um, first or second time? And like, and or, and or, if it wasn't his first time, it was something like he hasn't been there in like a long, long, long time, but I think it might have been his first time, to which, you know, I'm like, hey, well, I like Golden Corral, more than welcome to join me and come along, my good friend, let me show you to the... I don't want to say golden arches, but like, let me show you to the golden corral. Let me show you the corral. Welcome to the corral, the golden lands. 
So yes, I know, like Golden Corral, no, it's not the best food ever. And you have to realize like, no, it's not gonna be the same as if you go to a steakhouse or you go to probably almost any restaurant and pay 30 bucks. But what you do get, so, you know, which is, it ranges depending where you're in the country from $10 at lunchtime to like 13 or $14 at lunchtime to a dinner time generally being between 15 and 20 bucks. But what you're getting for those prices is unlimited food, a pretty dang big variety of what I would call, um, and I have been pr given and okay to go ahead by the comments in my previous Golden Crow video and say it's like kind of like ish Southern, ish American, ish soul food, ish just mixed and apparently here like, I don't know, tacos, maybe a little bit Mexican. But like, you know, so for we went at technically got the lunch uh, the lunch price here so for like 15 bucks or 13 bucks or whatever it was we got all this food it's unlimited stuff again no it's not going to be the best thing you've ever eaten well I doubt it but like there's some really good and solid items like solid items I'll say so you can get solid food and an unlimited amount yeah you mean how can you go wrong for that price and again there's certain items that are better than others there's been times I've had items at Golden Crow and I'm like holy jumpets that is great and then there's times I've been at Golden Crow and I had the same item or I've had a different item and I'm like eh, it's fine it's all right so what you will see me is every time I go to a buffet like Golden Crow I generally pick an item or two that I like 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 I'll try a whole bunch of items at the start just a few different dishes a few different flavors and then when I find something I like I stick to it so again like well, one, the sweet potato casserole was great, as we mentioned, but also um, like the pulled pork I was enjoying. You obviously see me repeatedly with the fried chicken, so I was enjoying that. But I stick to some items, I identify what I like at the start with a small portion, a small taste, and I go from there, you know, and again, you kind of, it can vary day by day. It can vary by location as well. So find the items that are good tasting and stick with them. That's kind of my recommendation for buffets. Um, to really ensure that you get the most you know out of your money because if you try let's say 10 items and you get a big portion of each and you only really like three of them well that's 70 percent of your buffet experience which was suboptimal however if you get those 10 items we'll say in a very very small portion at the start you identify the four that you like or the three or four that you do like and then you eat mostly those, let's say, I don't know, 70% of your buffet experience would be enjoyable if you're eating, you know, double uh, the, the three or four that you like. So there you go, buffet techniques with Joel, how to enjoy a buffet. Um, it's funny, I find every time I go to Golden Corral, at least the last couple times, we generally end up finding a very, very friendly um, table of older individuals which are right beside us. So here we had a gentleman um, talking to us right there. Um, I, I Again, I really don't know what it is, but I do feel that a lot of, well, you get a whole bunch of different crowds of Golden Crowd, but it just happened so twice that I've had two uh, lovely um, families of, you know, older individuals sitting beside us, um, which kept us company. Uh, we're very, very uh, hospitable and, um, you know, love to give us some, some good conversation. Happened last time I was there too. If you haven't seen the last time I was at Golden Corral, I'd definitely go check that out. I even got a little bit of a conversation with the owner last time, the, or the owner of that specific Golden Corral, I should say, um, when I was there. Uh, so yeah, just finishing up some chicken here. Blaine at this point was starting to slow down a little bit. Um, we did have quite a few number of plates uh, at this point. I believe we also had the servers kind of switch out. They were um, kind of like, like I said, we kind of got there at between the lunch lunch, and then just before it switched over to dinner. Um, so, you know, staff were changing. I got a good, nice, delicious plate of pineapple because who doesn't like pineapple in those may or may not know that I very much, very much like pineapple. In fact, I made a whole video of a pineapple mukbang of me just eating pineapple. So you can definitely find that on my channel as well. Again, masks were required in the, in the restaurant as you see me with my mask in my pocket and you saw Blaine put on his when he went to go walk around. So the only time you could not have your mask on 
was at the table because let's be honest it is very hard to eat with a mask on now comes dessert so I went up to the dessert lady because now again they serve you and I said hey I want some strawberries she's like, okay how many do you want I was like 12 she's like what I'm like yeah I want 12 and she gave me 12 because that's they give you as much as you want they just they just serve you I also got another plate of pineapple because it was delicious I only got six of my strawberries dipped in chocolate because normally I like carry a little plate of chocolate back to my table and I kind of lightly dip them myself but this lady was just dredging them in the chocolate as you can see so not only were the couple strawberries that I had dipped in chocolate doused in chocolate but even my plate was covered in chocolate so I got half of them in chocolate and half of them not in chocolate so I could take one that was dipped in chocolate and one that was not dipped in chocolate at the same time um, like that and then kind of cut it so I'm only getting like theoretically you know half the chocolate I guess you could say or less of the chocolate um, than to way she was preparing them because um, I mean the fondue at Golden Crowd it's a pretty cool thing it's a unique item that they offer I mean they have a freaking chocolate fountain like let's be honest who doesn't like chocolate fountains uh, then they also have a uh, banana pudding which I am a fan of their banana pudding at Golden Corral is uh, it's 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 pretty dang good like it's a solid banana pudding um, I've actually even been at like quote unquote so-called barbecue restaurants or you know other kind of family diners where you would expect them to have good banana pudding and they like literally it's just the jello like stuff made out of a box but this is a legit banana pudding like it's not just coming out of a jello packet it has real bananas in it, it has that vanilla wafer in it, it has some well, whipped cream on top, but it is like that light, fluffy, authentic, real nice banana pudding that you'd expect. I think it's the best that I've ever had, but it's definitely like, it's very good for, you know, a all-you-can-eat buffet and or a chain. So back with that good old banana pudding. Um, and then we had some ice cream, um, got some caramel sauce and ice cream as well. Same thing, so they serve you the ice cream um, because you can't, you know, basically serve anything yourself as per the current rules and how things are kind of going with buffets. Uh, now the little golden or the little uh, banana pudding cups like that, they just kind of have those set and you can grab those um, because I guess it's like a single serving thing, I guess, so you can take that. Um, golden Corral's ice cream, it's, I find it very like, I don't know, I'll call it ice milk. I don't ever find it overly creamy. I find it kind of a little bit more, eh, I don't know, icy is not the right term, but it's just definitely not a very like thick, creamy, soft serve ice cream. They do also have the, the hard serve, like the regular ice cream there as well. I just don't usually indulge in it. Um, so I usually get a little bit of the ice cream, like a, a small singular cup like I did with some caramel or something, just because I really like, um, like a soft serve with caramel. But if I was gonna go, and only have one or two desserts at Golden Corral, I would definitely recommend the banana pudding. And actually they have a really, really nice, which they didn't have at this time, unfortunately, because it's one of my favorites, but they have a really nice chocolate like pie. And their chocolate pie is pretty dang good. So I'd recommend chocolate pie and banana pudding if you're going to go to the good old Golden Corral. But with that, everybody, that pretty much brings us to the end of our uh, endeavor, the end of our lovely eating experience. Um, so I want to give a huge thanks to Blaine for coming to eating with me, having a good time. It's always great to see Blaine. Much love for the gentleman. Um, thank you for watching this video. I'm just finishing off again actually with a plate of that um, sweet potato casserole because, like I said, it was basically like a dessert. It was super sweet. Um, it was warm. None of the other desserts were warm. It was very warm. It was hot, in fact. You can see me struggling to eat it there. Marshmallows on top, you know, cinnamon and sugar. Like, it's it's basically a dessert, let's be honest. But it tastes very, very good. So, again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Very much appreciate your support. Thank you for liking the video. Thank you for your comments. Uh, if you are new, feel free to consider subscribing. And with that, everybody, until next time, with more buffets and more food challenges to come, Stay happy, healthy, hungry, and of course, happy eating. And here I am at the Mecca of America, Golden Crown. Yeah, this is America.
Hello comrades, we are back in this land of California, Republic California. It's very nice down here. Me and good comrade Mr. Blaine. Hello everybody. Whatever that man say. So yes, it's very nice. So today, down here enjoying sun in Long Beach, California. Uh, so it's very good and we're just doing stuff down here. I show you place. It's nice and sun. And in shade it's not that nice, but nice and sun. Very nice. And this is what it looks like in Long Beach, California. It's very good. <laughs> 